Hey, guys, B Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we're going to show you guys where to get this armor set that you see right here the Godskin Apostle armor set. Well, with that, you're going to need to come over into Kalid and start off we're going to start from the isolated merchants check so get to here i teleported to the rune farm here and i've gone around and around to here so if you want to take that path take that path but just get to here it's not hard to get to so you can get here straight away from the start if you wanted now from here from this isolated merchant right here we want to head straight over to here the divine tower of Khalid so we're going to come to here we're going to jump over here onto it and we're going to head up some ladders in there around and around the side and into here okay so we're going to do that now we're going to head straight this way because it's right there there's the tower right there so we'll simply just head down here go past all these weird dog type thingies If you haven't already destroyed the bug thing just up here it will give you a somber smithing stone number eight and it sits on this log just over here so if you want to get that and you haven't already make sure you hit that now we are right here okay and we're going to go up the side and we're going to get over to here so let's go and do that so just jump onto this route and then jump over to this ledge over here. And take care of this person. I'm addicted to using these weapons with their blood loss. <laughs> this weapon is so overpowered. I've got a video on them and everything. I love them. Go up this ladder. And then I get on my horse to help be able to jump across all of this. But just be careful you don't launch forward when you jump on your horse. And then I jump over these. Be careful you don't just launch off your horse when you jump off your horse here. Etc. Can I get back on my horse? Again, be careful you don't launch forward when you get on your horse. <laughs> and then jump over here. The horse just helps because it has double jump. So if you need, you can do that second jump. That's why I use the horse. And go up this ladder. And we're right here. Okay, so we've gotten up here, gone around the edge, and we're going up this ladder. Hold B on Xbox to go up the ladder faster. Whatever your sprint button is, hold it. And then you've got the grace sight right here. So just go around this edge, jump over here, and get the touch grace. And then we're here. Right. And again, in Khaled, this is where we are on the map. Easy to get to. Let's carry on. This is where awesome weapons come into play. I love this great sword I'm running. It's the one from the beating the Elden Beast. Boom. <laughs> Just wipes whole rooms. It's awesome. I love it. And accompany it with the Golden Order Greatsword. Man, it's awesome. As you'll see, Golden Order Greatsword comes in handy soon too. Come around this way. If you want to know how to get this Golden Order Greatsword, link will be in the description. On a video, I show you guys how to get it and everything. I have a video on that. 
come down here walk on off onto this one I find it easiest just to momentum walk off and then jump to this one jump and then jump on this one then jump to here and this is where the golden order sword come in <laughs> Easy as, simple as. It looks good while he's doing it. <laughs> then we gotta go up. Weirdly enough, we gotta go up before we go down. So we gotta go down and then we went going back up a bit and then we're going further down. And this fall that we take is so extreme it's not funny. I don't know how we can survive these falls without taking any damage yet if we fall like quarter of this normally we'd be dead now i love these swords as you'll see both of these swords they both look awesome and they are awesome <laughs> oh we just got to get through here And these twin swords, they actually work together really well too, as you've seen there. Then we want to come around this edge here. And then this here, that you see here, is so stupid. Look at how far you fall without dying. But you fall even a quarter of this distance in any anywhere else, and you, you instant die. Bang. And then look at this drop. But it's okay. You don't die. How crazy is that, guys? <laughs> This is the way. <laughs> and then push this button here to bring up this elevator thingy if it isn't already up. And then we want to go down here to the next grace site. Then touch grace. Now I'm going to show a trick that I use when I use Sabuku near grace sites. What you want to do is you want to do your Sabuku, activate the blood loss on them, and then you go and sit at grace, touch grace again, and rest at the grace site. Then you leave the grace site and you still have the Sabuku ability on your blades, but your health is back. So you, it was a free Sabuku. Then you can go up and attack this dude. Easy as. <laughs> so there's one for you guys if you ever got a grace site near where you are where you're going to use your sabuku use it touch grace and then go carry on now these swords are so awesome i love them especially with the mimic this is only a plus five mimic it's not even a strong mimic <laughs> these swords i love them the bleed and if you want, you can walk away and let the things rot because they apply scarlet rot as well. But in this case, we just kill things too fast. And as soon as we kill this thing here, this is what we got to kill. Kill this god skin and then we get this armor set that we're running right here. And as simple as that guys just this one godskin so it's not really hard i mean if you have trouble with godskins i guess it might be semi difficult but if you got a mimic or something you can see you can get get them quite easily if this helped you guys out help me out hit that like button for me subscribe if you're new leave me an awesome comment and share this video with all your friends with that said guys have an awesome day and i'll catch you guys in the next video and those confused as to where this is, we'll bring up the map just one last time for you guys. And with that, I'll catch you guys in my next video. B-Man, out. Thank you guys for watching my videos.